So, in light of the recent shooting in Vegas and the obvious polarization of the left and the right that comes along with that, and uh, on top of that, a great researcher by the name of Jesse Spots putting out an awesome video about uh, the crime connections and money laundering connections with InfoWars, and I will link that video in the description below. Check that out. So I figured um, it was time for me to get on it. I don't want people picking sides thinking that uh, the Trump side is uh, not establishment because it absolutely is and uh, this shooting would actually help the people that funded Trump. So uh, what I'm about to talk about Cambridge Analytica is something I've referenced in previous videos briefly hoping that um, people would actually go research themselves and maybe the grassroots movement would start uh, but that hasn't really happened. Okay so what is Cambridge Analytica. Cambridge Analytica started off as a company called SCL. SCL is based out of London, right in that Oxbridge region, that crucial espionage region. And Cambridge is notorious for Russian double agents. So keep that in the back of your head. Okay, SCL is also connected to British intelligence. Also keep that in mind for a future series of videos I will do when I expose who and what Alex Jones truly is. For now, all I'm going to say is there's some real spy shit going on there. Okay, SEL is also connected to various militaries. They're very secretive about what they do. But what they do give away is that they use military psyops tactics. They use military psyops tactics. A private corporation uses military psyops tactics on domestic populations. I'm sorry, but that needs to be a huge red flag for you. Okay, a man named Robert Mercer, completely connected to British intelligence and just the deep state in general, also the chief financier of Trump's campaign, bought into SCL with a huge amount of money and became its uh, principal owner, which resulted in the creation of Cambridge Analytica. And the psychological operations that Cambridge Analytica specializes in is data mining and micro-targeting. Okay, so what is data mining and what is micro-targeting? Data mining is when Cambridge Analytica buys uh, everyone's data from Google, Facebook, Twitter, all the social medias, anywhere you put out uh, data, uh, they buy it from there. Then they run it through their algorithms to find out what uh, the hot topics are so then they can get Trump to talk about the hot topics but then they also use that data to micro target you and what micro targeting is when they find a, uh, an issue that you're passionate about an issue they can get a emotional an emotional response on they use that and they fill your feed up with what you're passionate let's say you're passionate about uh, gun control and you're constantly on Facebook talking about gun control they begin to micro-target you by filling your feed, uh, unknowing to you, filling your feed with uh, uh, articles about how Trump is going to uh, end gun control and, and save your guns. So then you think, oh man, Trump's my guy. I'm going to, I'm super passionate about that. I'm going to go out and vote for him. <laughs> Thinking that those were organic articles, no, they were shoved down your throat by Cambridge Analytica. Specifically, so you would go out and vote for Trump. Okay, so that's how micro-targeting works. So Cambridge Analytica works with Aggregate IQ, which is a Canadian-based data mining company. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that they work with the Rebel. Haven't seen a paper trail for that, but I think that's probably safe to assume. Guess who owns the IP address to this Aggregate IQ website? None other than the Robert Mercer. SEL used to have Aggregate IQ listed as their Canadian branch on their website. Uh, then they took Aggregate IQ down and just left up the phone number for their Canadian branch. And when you call that phone number, it took you right back to Aggregate IQ. They've since completely removed the Canadian branch off their website. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to document that. Okay, so how does Cambridge Analytica connect to InfoWars? InfoWars started off by supporting Ted Cruz. Jones said that uh, he's not perfect, but he's a patriot and he's looking out for us. Exactly what he said about Trump. The globalist social engineers want to control your mind, your intellect. And that's why it's important that Ted Cruz has announced he's running for president, because on the policies he puts out, I agree with about 95% of it. 
All right, I want to play Ted Cruz's new presidential run ad uh, that just premiered today. He gave a 30-minute speech that we have linked on Infowars.com uh, announcing uh, what he what he plans to do. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and play this ad. Then we're going to go to a few of your calls and then Dr. Edward Group, who we ha have via the video uh, connection. Let's go ahead and go to this ad. My story is like that of so many other American families. Ladies and gentlemen, Ted Cruz has announced he's running for president. And I got to tell you, I like what he's running on. Very, very exciting. I know that Ted Cruz obviously isn't perfect. His wife worked at Goldman Sachs, but and I know that she was a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. Well, there are about 10,000 members of that, and that's the globalists trying to organize all the smartest people in the country so they can control them. So if we ever discount someone because they've been part of the power structure, we have a very low probability of ever changing the culture. 100%. We'll be behind you 100%. How much political capital do you think we can gather to make, make action happen? Well, the question really... <laughs> Funny enough, Cambridge Analytica and Mercer originally were fully behind Cruz, dumping all of his money into Cruz, using his data mining and micro-targeting operations for Cruz's benefit. But then, all of a sudden, Infowars and Cambridge Analytica switched to Trump. Coincidence? I think not. Cambridge Analytica and Mercer is also uh, the main driver behind the Brexit campaign. Uh, Mercer even stated that Brexit was, in a sense, a test to see if the waters were right for a candidate like Trump. Which leads me to believe that um, this is a sort of council for the national policy type coup, kind of like they did with Reagan in the 80s. See, the, the Republicans and the Democrats, there's end fighting within the elite classes, but they're the same pedophiles, they're the same people. Uh, next video will be on the uh, pedophile connections with Trump. So during the run up to Brexit, aggregate IQ was paid handsomely by all the big leave donors to target people via social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google. That's where that campaign was run. These big vote leave organizations could legally pay uh, aggregate IQ to data mine and target people because they were based in Canada. That's a strategic location. That's what they used to do in the old MK Ultra days. Otherwise, it would totally be illegal. But since it's Canadian location, they can legally do this like they did in the old MK Ultra days. So this is where, where the mind control programs have gone. They've been privatized, so there's no f more FOIA requ requests, there's no more government linking, except there is still government uh, connections, um, but it's not official government connections. They're still connected to all the, still connected to all the good uh, military and intelligence communities, but there's no physical connection. Okay, so SCL, the precursor, or the umbrella to Cambridge Analytica, has connections range or has membership ranging from British intelligence to Marconi defense uh, to the Pentagon and to uh, British Army psychological divisions. Remember this this private mind control psychological operation openly admits that they use military psyops on domestic populations for their own corporate ends. Do we see the problem here? Do we see how Trump is a deep state candidate? So what Cambridge Analytica also does is use uh, established psychological operations like Infowars, like Breitbart, to push their agenda. They also get kickbacks. They work hand in hand. They sway you to vote in a specific way for specific ends. Whether it be making money, whether it be an agenda, there's specific ends. Now do we see how there has to be two sides to every conflict? The right was created in response to how ridiculous the left is. They do that on purpose. Cambridge Analytica and SCL is also a link to Peter Thiel's data mining company, Plantar. And of course, Peter Thiel is already in the Trump cabinet. Okay, so we see what circles these people run in. These are elitist people. These are deep state people. Okay, these are not anti-establishment candidates. They're using military psychological operations to convince you to vote for them. Okay, you're under mind control. That's what this is. This is a mind control operation. So Steve Bannon uh, of Breitbart, Robert Mercer, and Steve Bannon will be crucial in my next video. Uh, Robert Mercer and Nigel Farage, uh, you know, Brexit and the UKIP movement over there, uh, have been colleagues since 2002. 
Okay, so these people know each other. These people are friends. They've known each other for a long time. This is a coup in a sense. If you voted for Trump or you supported Trump, I understand where you're coming from. I understand there's so many valid points being made there. It's not it's not to say that you didn't vote or vote for Brexit or Trump for the right reasons. What I'm trying to point out is these are deep they're put in by the deep state for a specific reason. They're still owned by these deep state people. They're still in debt to these deep state people. And these are the type of people that make money off war. Okay, so the end game for these people is probably war, whether it be domestic or international. As long as they can sell their war machines, they'll make their money. Okay, so be looking out for future conflict. Here's a direct quote from Andy Wigmore of Cambridge uh, Analytica. He says, A Facebook like is their most potent weapon because using artificial intelligence, as we did, tells you all sorts of stuff about the individual and how to convince them with a sort of advert. And you knew there would also be other people in their network who liked what they liked. So you could spread, and then you'd follow them. The computer never stops learning, and it never stops monitoring. When uh, the interviewer said, that's creepy, he said, yes, that is creepy. That's why I'm not on Facebook, okay? So <laughs> if you think that your data, even down to what you like, isn't being shared, you're ignorant, because it is. And that's how these modern campaigns are driven. Data mining and micro-targeting. You gotta learn it, you gotta know it. So ironically, the candidate that's supposed to be anti-deep state is being driven, his whole movement is being driven by deep state British million, billionaires and uh, intelligence communities. You know, ironically, he's the anti-establishment candidate, but in reality, it's, it's the establishment that's pushing the whole movement. That's been my point this whole time. And there, yes, there's certainly a paper trail. Not only who he filled his cabinet with and, and the, the agendas that he's continued, he was put in by Deep State. There is a paper trail here. So do you see how these psychological mind control operations work? Uh, the biggest thing I get from uh, Trump supporters for his uh, for why he's an anti-establishment candidate is, well, the media hates him, mainstream media hates him, so you know the establishment hates him. Come on, do you think they're stupid? You don't think they've data mined and figure out how many people don't trust the mainstream media? Their ratings are, are absolutely ridiculous. They know, see, they're, they're revamping it and using it as a new tool now. They're using it to push you in a certain direction. They're using it to push you for Trump. That's how these psychological operations work. Like, so we can't keep, you know, falling for these advanced cycle. It's not the old days. You're not. I'm happy to defend him. Most of what you said is completely false. And the American people know that. This I'll is, run through this the list of this things where you can just say stuff and people believe it. Look. These are the new times. They're using, they're, they're stepping up the deception. Continue to look into this yourself. You guys have a good one.